Hi everyone, Shot of the Earth Tree is just around the corner. Um, and if you're struggling with Moog, Lord of Blood, then this video is for you. I'll be talking over the footage of me beating him in my most recent playthrough here. Um, Moog hits hard, but he is also slow and predictable. Uh, learning his combos is the key to finding your opportunities to heal or attack. Here you can see when he dodges, when he dashes, that's a good opportunity to attack, but uh, I did get hit there, so be careful. Make sure you know the timing of your uh, uh, weapons and play to your strengths. When he does his slash with the bomb, he usually will follow it up with a dash, but not every time, but more often than not. So be mindful of that. When he finishes his combo over there, he has like a three hit combo. He'll either do nothing where you can attack him or he'll stab the ground where where after he uh, picks up his, his weapon, then you can attack him again. Uh, here he's adding the, what is the the blood curse to you. When he does that, you can also attack him or heal. Here, let's see if he dodges. Here he doesn't he doesn't do the dash. Okay, when he when he snaps his finger and then swings around, if you roll through it, the snap on the right, uh, you'll get a free opening as well to attack him there. And here you can see the phase transition uh, marked by the Nihil attack. You can attack him while he's doing this only if you have enough health to survive the next Nihil. He does three of them, so be mindful of that. But that's a good opportunity as well. In this second phase of the fight, um, you have to be very mindful of the blood flame on the floor. Now all of his attacks throw blood flame at some point, somewhere. Uh, typically it's, it's in a radius around you guys. So if you stay close to him, you can avoid it most of the time. But you are going to have to be mindful of where he is and where he's trying to put you so that you can wait for the blood flame to die out. It takes a couple seconds. Or you can just make sure that he'll he'll take you away from it. Here he's trying to push me towards it, but I'm rolling to the left to, to get away from the blood flame. And here he's still doing his three hit combo, but this time he didn't follow it up. And here he's doing his slash. In second phase, he, he doesn't charge after the slash attack as often. And now he does this move here where he'll jump up and fly away. Usually he'll follow it up with a with a throw like that. There's two types of throws he does where he throws it in a wide arc or he throws it directly at you. You can tell he's going to throw it directly at you if when he pulls it out of the sky, if he holds it for like a little second longer, then he's throwing it directly at you. And you need to dodge either to the left or the right. Otherwise, you can just dodge forward. Uh, now in this playthrough here i'm not using bleed but um i highly recommend using bleed against this guy uh despite being the lord of blood he is especially weak to it um now it does buff him but in my opinion in the second phase you're gonna get bled anyway so he's gonna get the buff you might as well take advantage of the bleed i've seen people melt this guy in like uh, a matter of seconds with bleed <laughs> so it is quite powerful If you're struggling in the second phase with the blood flame and you know like you're trying your best to avoid it but you're still getting hit with it uh buff robustness um and uh fire resistance um but i would prioritize robustness above everything because the, the blood flame does a crazy amount of, of bleed buildup and only a little bit of, of damage over time with fire but as you can see my character is wearing the flame monk uh armor because i, I did end up buffing for or like putting armor on that's good against uh fire there i took a direct hit that's okay now he is pretty aggressive and uh, it's gonna take a while to find those opportunities to attack him and as you can see here like i'm not perfect i'm not um taking advantage of all the opportunities he's giving me but honestly just be patient with him he is slow he hits hard so it's better to wait it out than to rush in and then get caught off guard because one hit from him can end your your run Okay, and here you can see he did not throw the fire at me and when he stabs his fork into the ground now every time it's a bomb in his second phase so also be mindful of that you're gonna have to roll through that again and or you could run away from it but i highly recommend rolling through it because typically that's an opening after the bomb explodes for you to uh, attack or heal and here you saw me stepping into the the blood flame here i'm rolling into the the bomb to attack him He's doing the snap. See, I went to the left. If you roll to the left of his snap, then you have to roll again when he does his uh, wide arc slash. 
If I rolled to the right of the snap though, I would have been safe to attack even while he was attacking me. And here he's going to throw the lava or the, the blood flame directly at me. Okay, he got me with that one. That one you have to be very careful with that stab. Um, even if you dodge it, I recommend dodging again uh, just in case he spins it because that will cause a lot of bleed buildup. Let's see. We're, we're near the end now. I find he does get uh, very aggressive in that last quarter of his health. Uh, when he does his dodge at you, be very careful about this because you can't dodge it the same way you were, you were uh, avoiding the first phase um, dash attack. Now he dashes for much longer and, and, and uh, you have to dodge to the left. But here you can see, I did it. it can be done. Uh, let me know if this information is helpful or if it's just redundant. And uh, see you when I see you. Bye.